Hey guys, so in the last video, we modeled the legs, the front legs, the back legs, um, and we thickened them up and modeled them. And now I'd like to go ahead and model the eye and the teeth and then mirror it, and then we'll be done with this puppy. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to my uh, side view, hit F, go to face mode, uh, grab a face there, hit F. And what I'd like to do is I'm going to I'm going to grab the eye from one face, which is that one. But if you notice, guys, uh, this face hits the center mark. So we have to be careful when we extrude it because, again, it's, it's going to hit that uh, center mark. And remember, we're going to mirror this over. And so we just have to be careful that that center line doesn't cross over. So the first thing I'd like to do is hit the R for scale and hold down the shift and extrude it inward like this. Uh, and there it is. All this is, guys, all this is, is I'm going to push it up and I am going to size it out this way. Go to vertex mode and start uh, sizing these so that I can get that eye. I'm going to just make it a little larger by pushing these back and forth. I'm going to make these two bottom ones. I'm going to move them down and then we got the eye and so I am going to go to face mode and select this face, the front face. So I am going to select that one face. If you could see it here, what we've done is that we've extruded this one out and we pushed it out just like that. And now we're going to select this side one here. Hit R, hold down the shift and extrude it inward again just like that and then one more time well actually I'm gonna move it down before we extrude it one more time I'm gonna move it down and then one more time hold on the shift hold on the shift and extrude it inward to create that cavity there it is there's the eye socket and then I'm just going to size it down considerably to there uh, we need, remember, when we extrude stuff, not necessarily will it uh, land exactly where we want it. So I'm just going to push these out, this, this out, this one out also, this one out, uh, and these in the center here. I'm going to hit Q to hide the move tool. I'm just going to push these down a little bit, and then this one out this one out just like that we have an eye socket and all I'm gonna do in fact I'm going to make this a little I'm gonna push it back towards the center line and this one away from the center line just to to give myself a little bit of a I'm gonna height the move tool there we go there I like that and so now all I need to do is plop in a sphere in there. Before I do though, I'm gonna hit uh, F to zoom out, E to rotate, hold down my J key, J for Jack, and rotate this 90 degrees looking out this way. R to scale, W to move. I'm going to move this right where that eye is and then hit F, size it down even more, W, and just place it in there. Go to this side view. Oops, it looks like I didn't... Uh, it looks like I didn't rotate it. Uh, so the good thing is it's rotated every 15 degrees. So I just need to push it one to make it completely look out that way. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and then I'm going to push it in just a little bit. 
and then just place it in there as much as I can. Uh, and then there we have, we have an eye. I think I'm just gonna push it back a little bit more. And there it is, there's our eye. That's it, there's our eye. I'm gonna select this camera and hide it, hit H. The teeth, let's go, let's go ahead and model one tooth. But before we model the teeth, I need to add a little bit more detail here in the mouth. Uh, right now it's a little bit too smooth and so what I need to do is I'm, I want to go to edge mode, edge, select all of these edges, double click on it, it'll select the entire row, double click on the bottom one, it'll select the entire row, and I'm going to select this one as well, this one, and this one to select the entire mouth, and then I'm going to bevel it. The only reason I want to do that is to put an edge right there. It's too smooth. From the center all the way to then down here, there's only one edge. And so it makes it really, really smooth and rounded. So I just want to create a crease down the mouth. So the bevel tool is right here. And you can see how that shut that and made it a little bit sharper just by adding a bevel. And, and that's it. I'm not gonna tweak any of the settings. I'm gonna leave it and I like it like that. See, it looks a lot better. Maintaining my center line. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and select, uh, create a, a cube and let's go ahead and model a tooth F here's our, our cube I'm gonna zoom out I'm gonna push this out this way size it size it this way and then here in the poly cube tab where the subdivisions are let's give this about three in the Y, maybe four. And then to make it round, uh, one and one, two and two, two, four, two. What I like to do now is just start modeling. I'm gonna hit F, 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 F and then start modeling it. Uh, go to vertex mode, select all these vertices uh, and scale them. Remember, we're gonna model a tooth. So, it's gotta look like, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker like that, like this. That's it, there's our tooth. I'm gonna actually just select that one vertex and push it up. And go to object mode and hit number three. And just check it out. So it's a little, I see the corners of it and I don't wanna see the corners. I don't wanna have a square tooth. So what do I need to do? Just round it off. Exactly like we started the uh, alligator. We're gonna push these and make, round them off. And there it is, completely round, good. Uh, I'm just going to make it a little thinner There we go. There's our tooth. Now let's grab this tooth and place it in the mouth. So A, 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 A. And let's uh, W, let's grab it, put it right here. And then let's hit F, 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 F. Size it to about the size of a tooth. 
maybe let's make it a little bit thinner and then let's place it right inside the mouth here it is inside the mouth now and I'm going to rotate it and then rotate it out push it out a little bit uh, and I want to see I want to place it in my perspective view so that I can be aware of exactly where it is and there it is there is our first tooth and so guys I'm gonna speed up this process because I need to replicate a bunch of these all the way across and then do the top ones and so it's gonna take a while so I'm gonna um, speed up the video and then I will see you on the other side I need to stop the video for a minute and just uh, let you know that uh, all I'm doing is cloning and rotating, just adjusting that tooth uh, however I need to rotate it, even if I have to point it out completely. Uh, and then moving it, adjusting, um, just so that I don't want it out in the open, just so that it's right in. And that's all I'm doing is I'm just adjusting by um, rotating it and moving it till till it looks good uh, and then once it looks good cloning it and then again just adjusting the rotation until it looks good to me And there we go we've done the teeth we did the eye and everything is done we added some detail to the mouth the edge of the mouth and all there is to do now is to mirror it and finish it off I'm gonna hit this hit F to uh, fit in the view and we're gonna start by mirroring the body the mirror command is right there right on the shelf or under mesh uh, mirror right there so we're gonna mirror and I'm gonna click on the actual tool so that we can see its options and it's going to mirror the geometry combined with the original merge border vertices because we want them to merge at the center uh, and then we're going to do it along the X negative X that means in the X to the other side so let's go ahead and mirror and there it is we mirrored our alligator or half of an alligator over to the other side and the middle has been merged good now let's mirror all the teeth and the eyes so I'm gonna select all of them actually deselect the body 
So we've got all the teeth and the eye uh, selected. Let's go ahead and mirror this and then boom it mirrors across the X and there it is. So we've done it guys. Uh, this is the full alligator with teeth and eyes and arms and legs uh, and that's it. This is all. All we have to do now is put the scales but I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Uh, this is it. Hey guys if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys.